Previously on Mile High. Gold Star has bought Fresh. And you may have a slow lane on an old-fashioned airline like Gold Star, but here at Fresh, it's keep up or get out. Isn't it just the most perfect evening? You know it would make it even more perfect. Where have you been? Did you fuck her? No. Get away from me, you pointless, man-stealing bitch! Calm down! <laughs> Lad, what's going on? Tim, he dumped your sister and then fucked her pal. Enough, Deathfields! And you, whoever you are, my office right now! in my parking space. Oi! You're in my space! Just leave it. There's one there. I was the third brother of five. Doing whatever I had to do to survive. I'm not saying what I did was all right. Trying to break out of the ghetto. Oh, I'm really sorry. You couldn't help me with this. Yes, of course. I'm Lorna. Nigel. And, uh, that's, uh, Janice. Janice Steele? We're rostered together. You're going to be my first ever fresh number one. <laughs> I mean, I've done the observing thing, of course. But today's my first day of actually doing it with you guys. Your backs. Brilliant merger, isn't it? It's only new people to me. Uh, let's put it here, yeah? Well, uh, welcome to Fresh. Thank you. See you on the flight. Bye. He seems really nice. Is he your boyfriend? What is this? It's a painting of my Frank. I've had it commissioned specially. It's lucky that we're night stopping in Malaga. To actually get to be with him for his birthday, he's a little bit worried about turning the big 3-0. Which is silly, really, because men tend to get better with age. It's us women that have to worry about getting old, don't you think? I was wondering if I could put this in the rest area. There is no rest area on a 737. Of course not. Silly me. Take it to dispatch, get them to put it in the hold. Not now. After the briefing. Hi, you must be Poppy. I'm Lorna Newbold. It's weird us wearing different uniforms, isn't it? It's confusing for the passengers. Lorna, my turn to ask you a favour. Sure. Can you shut that mouth of yours long enough for me to breathe you? Thank you. Where's Will O'Brien? Check in. There's too many crew and not enough ground staff. This is your fault. You attack me in the middle of the fresh centre. Will you stop your bickering? You're lucky I've got enough clout around here to stop them firing your asses. Oh my God, how the mighty have fallen. So, it's true what they're saying. What? Bobby Donnelly couldn't handle the short haul. For your information, I've been asked by the airline to act as a customer relations manager. Check in, Drone. Customer relations manager to inject some much-needed class into meeting and greeting passengers. Once I've licked your fresh rabble into shape, I shall, of course, resume flying. Well, let me introduce you to your rabble for the day. This is Jack, who you already know, and, of course... Marco. I don't believe we've had the pleasure. Why don't you take Stockholm over here next to me? Your colleague can do Rome. Somebody better warn the poor sod. But he was only gay in his own time. You're right. He dumped anything with a pulse and given half the chance. God, is that a time? Remember, passes to the wall. Man your stations, gentlemen. Our public awaits. Sorry, I'm late. 
union business. Yeah, we'll go and help little Miss Misery with the cabin checks. Oh, and while you're there, see if you can get her to put a smile on her face. Passengers don't want to be greeted with a face like that. You OK, hon? I know exactly how you feel. And just for the record, you are worth 20 Marco Baileys, OK? Even with a big red nose and a face like a wet weekend. Mr. First Officer. No idea. I'm going to show at the briefing. Good, good mind to report him. Dan Peterson, hi, from the uh, Gold Star. Sorry, the uh, fresh global wind things. You took my parking space. What? And now you're in my seat. Uh, sorry, I'm rostered to fly as captain. <laughs> no way. This is my flight. Operations. Nigel Croker here, staff number 2707. Due to be operating fresh 073. Go ahead. We have a problem. It seems there are two captains rostered for this flight. Uh, Dan, uh, Peterson and myself. OK, we'll investigate and get back to you. Thank you so much. Morning, gentlemen. Where are you two flying to today? Malaga. Two upstairs and one down below. Sorry? Billy has to go in the hold. This is always the worst part of my hold. I can't bear saying goodbye. Oh, there's only two others. I know. Any luggage? Did you pack the bags yourself? Well, as if I get any help from him. Right, there's the boarding passes. The dog needs to go to oversized baggage for boarding. If you can manage here, I'll help these gentlemen with their dog. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Did you get a look at the check-in, boy? Do you mean? Oh, I got a smile. On our bus, do you think? Apologies, a uh, mistake our end. We have you both down as skipper. Can you flip a coin and decide your flies down? I've never heard anything more ridiculous. Well, it's either that or pistols at dawn. You call. Uh, tails. No, heads. Dan Peterson will be in the left-hand seat for this sector. Roger that. Thanks, Dan. Ready for checks, first officer? Please take extra care of this, won't you? Oh, hello, little doggy. Are you coming to Malaga with us? Mm -hmm. Basically, if you can stow it without anything touching it, it's very fragile. It's a painting, specially commissioned, and it cost me a fortune. Oh, bye. You have a nice flight. <laughs> It took me ages to find the baggage place. It's weird how you can work in an airport for years and still don't know a simple thing like that. His face when I said goodbye. Oh, talk about fussing. You care more about that dog than you do about me. Could you assist this gentleman, please? Oh, sorry, of course. Oh, that's just here on the left-hand side. My name's Lorna, and if there's anything I can do to help you on your flight today, please don't hesitate to call me. PMT, is it? I get it really bad. I'll finish the meet and greet. You just have to sit down. I'm fine. Oh, madam, let me help you with that. Janice, good to see you. How are you? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Are you? You two know each other? We flew together last week. It was, um, interesting. I was just wondering, I'd, uh, like to do my welcome PA. Sure. Well, I can't do it, obviously, until the seatbelt sign's on. Oh, no problem. You can't do that while we're refueling. Refueling? Oh, shit. Oh, now, there is a pilot who can park his jumbo in my hangar any day of the week. Oh, I don't know why people go mad about Dan Peterson. He's... 
Mr. Pyle. Did you want to see him? I just want to scream at sunbed. Ooh. My Frank's got a fantastic tan, you know. But then he would do, because he works in boats. He looks after the people. Last weekend, he took Catherine and Michael. Problem? Eleven tons. We're only 600 kilos over. Only? You can't take off at that weight. Oh, come on, it'll be fine. I cannot sanction any breaking of the rules. It'll be hard pushed to do three sectors at this rate. Well, what would you suggest? Well, it's not my place, is it, Captain? Well, I guess you could taxi off to a safe area and burn the fuel off. Which would be costly and time-consuming, and every pilot in this airport would know that I had fucked up. I hadn't thought of that. We'll have to ask for volunteers to get off. Make it six, to be safe. <sighs> Unloading the bags is going to take time. So let's get on with it, yeah? If you don't mind. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Bit of a problem to start the day with today, I'm afraid. Stand by to help the volunteers disembark and organise from the roads. Oh, is this going to make us late into Malaga tonight? It's only Frank's meeting me at the airport and he really hates to be kept waiting. If you need a bit of a bribe to help you make up your minds, then uh, Fresh will be offering each of the volunteers 2,000 free air miles. We'll do it. Help them with the hand luggage, quick as possible. <clears throat> you can't do that without the authorization of the company. I just did. Apparently some passengers are disembarking the Malaga. And you'd like me to escort them, not a problem. Marco and I will go. You can meet the girls, bring them back here, check them onto the 1500 to Malaga, and I will look for their luggage. While I do what? Deal with this lot. You are joking. Oh, come on, Marco! Roger control. Understood. Well, Captain, it seems we've missed our slot. They're going to try and find us another. Never complete the day now. Traffic, this is Fresh 073. Can you give us five? Alex, is there any chance that you might be able to negotiate a five-minute extension to our current slot? I'd be very grateful. Carrera's free this weekend. Thank you. Only two volunteers, I'm afraid, and the rest are getting very anxious about the delay. Or maybe I should up the reward. Well, spend another half an hour getting their luggage off. Have you got a better idea? But I suppose we could lose the cart. You're a star, Janice. Well, that might solve the weight problem, but the company aren't going to like the loss of revenue, and the crew aren't going to be happy about the loss in commission. How much would they earn? About 30 pounds over the day, each. It's not my lucky day. Oh, you don't have to do that. I want to. Thank you. In order to meet the required maximum weight for this aircraft, I'm afraid we're having to remove the food and drink trolleys. We apologise for the delay and for any inconvenience that this may cause. What about Billy? Well, it's not like he buys his eats and drinks from a trolley. He's got everything he needs in the crate. Ground, this is Fresh 073, Pakistan 19. We are at last fully ready and request push and start clearance for Malaga. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your patience. We are now ready to depart from Malaga. With a tailwind, we should be able to make up for lost time and hope to have you there not far behind schedule. Positions for the uh, set demo, please. Have you any idea what time? Lorna! If I hear the words Frank or birthday, I will off you when we get to London and get a standby for the third sector, and then you will never get to Malaga. <laughs> Crash 073, clear for takeoff runway 27. Roger that. See? Back on track. Still gonna cut it fine. 100 says we complete the day on schedule. I don't bet. Well, that's just as well, because you'd lose. Anyway, worse is behind us. Sit back, relax, and let me show you how this is done, first officer. Refreshments today. I hope you enjoy your flight. Fresh and flight magazine for you. Take your mind off your rumbling stomach. Excuse me. Listen. What? I can hear howling. Excuse me? No, no, no. There was, there was again. You heard that, didn't you? No. It sounds like a. Hello, little dog. Are you coming to Malaga with us? A dog. Oh my god. 
Okay, so it's a dog. But shouldn't it be further forward? Why? Well, the forward hole's heated. I don't think the one in the back is. Oh, well, what if it's in the wrong one? Oh, it's those two's dog. What are we going to tell them? Nothing. No, we have to tell them something. Their little pooch is going to freeze to death. Now. Marco checks you onto the three o'clock flight and makes sure you've got everything you want till then. I think we want a drink. Well, there are plenty of bars in the terminal. Well, if you're supposed to be looking after us, why don't you come with? I'm afraid I have to work. I can escort them. You have work too. Your new boarding passes, ladies. We'll page you in the bar when it's time to go through. <sighs> Is it okay if I nip to the toilet? Fine. In fact. Why don't you take your break now? Hang on, how comes he gets to have a rest and I don't? I've been working my bollocks off here, and I'm doing his job and mine. Because I say so. Marco seems to cut about the usual fresh riffraff. He told me you two used to share a flat. He's more a friend of Will's, really. Really? He was totally professional with those girls. Mind you, I suppose he has a girlfriend he doesn't want to upset. <laughs> a girlfriend, Marco. Did I say something funny? Oh, I thought you guys always knew. I mean, I know he looks like butter wouldn't melt, but that's just at work. The rest of the time, he's a right little raver. Makes Willow Bryan look like the Virgin Mary. I don't remember being told about a dog. Well, it's here on the manifest. Why well, don't you boys look at what you're signing for, Cold Star? We were wondering whether it had been packed into the unheated hold by mistake. And if it's in there, it'll never make it to Malaga. doesn't like flying. Can you be sure which hold it's in, though? No. You'd risk the poor animal freezing to death. But what would you do? Divert ASAP. That's going to cost more time and money. You're not suggesting we fly on. I mean, you're condemning the animal. I am not diverting over a dog that is probably perfectly fine. The airline would have my balls. If the ground crew did fuck up, it needn't be our problem. Look, if the, if the handlers put him in the wrong section, then it's their fault, and the Spanish handlers can sort it out. I don't believe you're being so callous, Jan. Jan, back me up here. Well, I think it's up to Dan. He's the captain on this flight. But I happen to agree with him. We've already wasted an hour on the ground already. Any more delays, and what with this merger, our jobs are hanging by a thread as it is. Why should we risk giving them any more rape to hang us by? Exactly. So, is that a decision? Yes, we fly on. We should at least inform operations. Sure. Hello, operations. This is Fresh 073. Uh, we have a dog on board that may have accidentally been packed into the wrong hold. If that is the case, then it obviously won't survive the flight. Now, the captain doesn't want to divert and save the dog, but fly on and risk it dying. Please advise. You're broadcasting to the cabin. You did that on purpose. A genuine mistake. I'm going to report you. You signed for a dog. You should have checked it was OK. What did he say? A dog? He's not talking about Billy. You, help me. He said my dog is dying. Um, I can assure you he is fine, sir. Both my captain and my person have heard him barking. Where? Now, why don't you just let me get you a drink? Take, take a seat of brandy or something. No, the trolleys have gone. Um, a glass of water, I don't baby. want a bloody drink. Just show me where you heard him. I can't hear anything. He could be dead already. No, 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 be Move. You didn't liaise with the dispatch. A clear failure in communication. Are you questioning my judgment? Ladies and gentlemen, you really fly oh, on us. Well, your passengers so certainly seem to be captain. Join with us now and make them land this plane. Give that to me now and sit down. Not until you tell us what you're going to do. Until that monster of a captain. The hair on that dog's head is harmed. We will sue this airline. 
Land of flames! 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 Advise ops that we're diverting to Jersey. Sure. Of course, it is a particularly short runway at Jersey. We have to circle for nearly an hour to burn the fuel off before we can land. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain. As you know, we have concerns over an animal in one of the holds. To ensure the well-being of the animal, we've decided to divert to Jersey. We are currently descending to 10,000 feet, which should warm the hull sufficiently. We will need to circle for a while to burn up enough fuel to bring us to a landing wave. So please bear with us. Well, Bangor's man ate out in Malaga. Oh, you can still make it. <sighs> yeah, right. We've still got to land, refuel, take off and then fly to Malaga. We'll barely make two sectors, let alone three. It makes you wonder if it's all worth it. I mean, I promised Frank I'd be there. That poor little dog's probably dead already. How much time do you want to give the passengers in the terminal? Oh, no, I'm not letting them off. Just check the dog and on to Malaga. Fresh 073 receiving. Roger that. Understood. We might as well let them off. They're finding another aircraft and crew to do our third sector. Seeing as we're obviously not going to make it now. Well, I guess you win then, Nigel. It isn't a game, Dan. It's a job. Janice? Yeah? Cover for me. So who was it then? What? Oh, well, there's only two people on this aircraft that can drive a man to that. Captain Kangaroo, or his evil flesh-eating other half. Janice. She and Nigel are an item. Well, yeah. And, uh, I'm desperate and will shag anyone who will have me, can we? Ugh. Fantastic. <coughs> <coughs> Madam, I'm dealing with another customer. Well, don't give me that. We should have been in Malaga an hour ago, instead of which we're stuck here with indefinite bloody delay. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't know what you expect me to do. Well, get us on another flight. We did you a favour getting off this morning. Bloody disgrace the way we've been treated. Well, look, please, just don't push. Take your hands off me, you creepy old uh, arse bandit. Uh. Right, that's it. Do you want to fly today? Then shut up and form a queue. Any more pushing and shoving, we won't reissue tickets to a single one of you. Is that clear? As for you, I want you to apologise to my colleague. You what? No one uses language like that and gets in our flights. If you want a holiday, tell him you're sorry. <clears throat> sorry. Dead. Billy? Billy? Oh my god. It's a miracle. Oh, my baby. Oh, I love happy endings. It will be. So long as he comes with us in the cabin the rest of the way. Oh, well, if it was up to me, then of course, but. Oh, I don't think we can with an animal that size. It's against regulations. Well, no Billy, no me. Well, what about a trip? I'm sure Jersey's a very nice place to have a holiday. And we can catch a proper airline home again. Or a boat, if we have to. Hello? Well done, mate. Another satisfied customer. We well, basically have mucked our sectors up. We're doing Malaga and back with no night stop. I know, hon. I'm so sorry. Frank, don't be like that, please. Frank, please. I love you. Still waiting on female passengers. Well, let's just take off without them. But they'll be stranded. I'm only joking. 
Look, with all this extra delay, we're not even going to get back to London. One sector completed out of three. My name's going to be Mud. But it's okay, because we're, we're going to be night stopping in Malaga. And there's this fantastic bar that I know. Maybe I could take you both for a drink. You know, thank you for everything you've done today. That's very kind of you, Captain. Dan. That's very kind of you, uh, Dan. I think that... Look, come on, Dim. You mean Nigel could at least lick our wounds after all this? It'll be on me. You okay? Fine. Marco, I wanted to thank you. You were incredible out there. I was just doing my job. <laughs> well, thank God you were, because I wasn't coping. I'm not used to dealing with passengers like that. It was so different on Gold Star. And the way you stood up for me, making that awful girl say sorry. People can't talk to us like that and get away with it, eh? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I, I thought... I'm not gay! He said... He who? Jack Fields. Right. Please, don't! It, it'll kill me if anyone knows about this. Only four and a half hours late, ladies and gentlemen, but you do have a story to tell your loved ones. Remember, flying fresh Europe is always an adventure. It certainly has been today. Try calling him, but his phone must be off. So I'm just going to surprise him. He'll be so thrilled that I made it here after all. Actually, stop the hotel. Could you hold this for me? I won't be a moment. God, Poppy, look. Well, what do you think? Amazing. So glad you like it. You gay boys have got such great taste. Now, come along, you can help me to the taxi rack. I'll tell you what, we'll do better than that. We'll come with you. We need a hand to getting us onto his boat, and me and Poppy can go and eat in the marina. That is incredibly kind. You go. I'll get the shuttle back to the hotel. No, you will not. What about the bags? We can drop them off in the way. I'm not having you moping around some hotel room tonight. Anyway, we can see if this Frank really exists. And then we can go and get pissed and eat calamari on the beach. Don't fight it, Poppy. It's an order from your Uncle Will. Come on, ladies. They're bugging off to the bars already. You've got the right idea of the day we've had. How quick can you two get changed? Uh I don't think it's a good idea. Nigel's knackered and... Oh, he doesn't have to come? I can't just leave him here. That wouldn't be right. Perhaps another time? Can we check in, please? That new fish place on the harbour looks nice. Why, he changed? He might see us out. So? A gorgeous night like this and you want to stay in an order room service? I don't want to drink or eat or do anything near Peterson. He screwed my day. Nigel, we're all stressed. But a sea air and some good food inside you and you feel a lot better. And do you know what stressed me out the most? Sure you're going to tell me? You, behaving like a schoolgirl on heat over that boy. What boy? You know perfectly well what I mean. Flirting with Dan Peterson. I was being civil. Civil? You're all over him in that cab. Not to mention your disloyalty over the dog business, taking his side. Disloyalty? Yeah. Brilliant work coming from you. I happen to think he was right, as events proved. A woman of your age, throwing herself at a boy like that. <sighs> Nigel, he's 28, I'm 35. It's hardly cradle snatching these days. Ah, so you admit you're after him? Oh, no! Good. Because he's a way out of your league, love. I just wouldn't want to see you making a fool of yourself. Where are you going? Enjoy your room service. Mm -hmm. 
came. Yeah, but I don't want to interrupt. Oh, you're not. She's the hotel manager. Do you want to drink here first or just hit the town? Just hit the town? slept much since this merger. <laughs> How old are you? 21. You weren't even born when I started flying. It was special back then. Only the best people flew. I used to say to Alistair, I'm a butler in the skies. We had four types of gin in first class. Three different champagnes. <laughs> now they asked me to serve Pringles. I don't even know what they are. And Mars bars. And count up change and work 15 hour days and stay in hotels with gypsies with medallions round their necks. I just can't. Do it! <laughs> All right, fellas. I wonder where you two got to. You bastard. What? Just, just, just go away. Um, it's just we were supposed to have Valencia 15 minutes ago. Bobby, is there someone we could call for you? <laughs> what am I going to do? I mean, how am I going to live? We've got to go. Bobby, are you going to be all right? <laughs> Shiver my timbers. I want to unwrap it so Frank gets the full effect as soon as he sees it. Oh my god. You like it? <gasps> like is not the word that's undescribable. Come on, can't wait to see his face. Yeah, neither can I. That'll be a picture too. Hey, come on, lady. <laughs> Papa loves Mambo. Papa loves right, come on. The sooner we get this over and done with, the sooner we can go and get pissed. Papa does great with it, swings like a gate with it. Be he careful. With it now he goes to... I'll go in and then you guys can pass it through to me. He goes fast. <laughs> she goes slow. He goes left. Wait a minute, Lorna. I think it's stuck. Oh, right. no! Don't push it, well, it might tear. Adios, ¿quién eres? ¿Qué haces aquí? I'm so sorry. I didn't realise the boat was rented. I'm Lorna, Frank's girlfriend. Is Frank here? ¿Qué? What in the name of fuck is going on? Frank! Is that you? Lorna? What are you doing here? I thought you weren't coming. Frank? ¿Quién es ella? ¿Y por qué tiene un retrato tuyo? Frank, ¿no me dijiste que estaríamos solo los dos? ¿Qué hace ella aquí? Ella es mi hermana. Quería sorprenderme por mi cumpleaños. Cariño, ahora tiene que irte. ¿Por qué? Solo un rato. Cuando ella vuelva al hotel, lo podremos celebrar como te prometí. ¡Ay, you fucking bitch! Uh, no, can you hear me? Will you shut the fuck up? I can't be a cheating master. I'll bite you two. He says you're his sister. He's asking you to leave, but only until you get back to the hotel. Then they're going to celebrate together. Frankie, is this true? No, of course not. Carla, ¿me oyes? Sí. Mi amo Poppy. Trabaja con Luna, la chica que está contigo. Luna es la novia de Frank, de Inglaterra. 
No puede ser. Soy yo su novia y vivo aquí con él, en el barco. She reckons she's his girlfriend too. Okay, that's enough. You two get the fuck off my boat. Sweetheart, listen, it's nothing serious. Carla's just got a bit of a crush on me, that's all. It's, she makes stuff up. Jesus, what are you doing? So you're going to tell me why you changed your mind? Woman's prerogative. I fancy a cocktail. No, oh, take a look. I'll tell you what, why don't we invent one to celebrate the day? Wouldn't know how, I'm afraid. Waiter. Do you know how to make screw the dog? Okay, it's four shots of vodka, two of cherry brandy. You're making this up. <laughs> Dash of dry vermouth, two teaspoons of creme de banane, shaken with ice. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, it's a bit rough. How appropriate. <laughs> screw the dog. Screw the dog. So, what happened between you two then? You saw what we were doing. Is that it? No, we made out on the gents. Of course that's all that bloody happened. He made a pass at me and felt like a total <laughs> plank, wouldn't you? <laughs> you think getting back at me over Poppy through someone else is clever? He was destroyed. Well, you do a good job of doing that to people yourself. You called my sister a slapper. I did not. I said she made all the running. <laughs> you never had a girl come on to you and then not be that serious about it. What did you do? Honestly. Well, I slept with her. So you know where I'm coming from? You were my mate. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry if I hurt Poppy. But what would be worse, ending it or, or making her feel like there was something there? Oh, you fancy a drink? I'll just be shut by now. You want come back to the flat? Nah. Look, Will and Poppy are on night stops. Leanne's at her mum's if that's what you're worried about. And I've got some great beers from the hypermarket in Calais. <laughs> Go on, then, you twisted me arm. Here, yeah, what did the old fruit actually do? Was it, was it just a kiss and a cuddle, or did you get a full Bobby Dazzler? <laughs> this is all my fault. If I'd given up flying and I'd moved out here, when Frank got the job, then he would have never gone with her. Here we go, Uncle Will's patent heartbreak cure. One bottle of tequila, one box of tissues. Now, by the time you've got through the both of them, you'll be out of your system. Yeah, I've got one for you too. Please, try and cry or something, eh? It's damn sightly scary in this whole dead-eyed silent thing you've been doing. I shouldn't have run away. I mean, that tart probably threw herself at him and... God, we're so good together. I should just go back and just talk to him. Just don't you dare. Just, just call him at least. Where's my bag? Oh, shit. My bag is on the boat. It's got my mobile, it's got my keys, it's got my everything. I'll get it. Oh, Poppy, no. He's not seeing it like this.
thought I told you to piss off. Lorna left a bag. Then Lorna can come and get it. She's down there crying her eyes out. Yeah, well, if you hadn't opened your big mouth, then maybe she wouldn't be. You're blaming me? You're the one who cheated on her with some Spanish task! I have no idea what the fuck your problem is. You wanna know what my problem is? Men like you. You take what you want and you wreck our lives. Get the fuck off my boat or I'll call the police. Not till you give me that bag. Hey, un bolso, a bag. Puedes traermelo, cariño. I said, give me the bag. Oops. Fucking men. <laughs> and here's the translation. How lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. Like Frankie? Oh, get off me. Ain't that a kick in the head? <laughs> Must have made the record books today for the most monumental fuck up in a pilot's uniform. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. Janice, I am having a lovely time. Me too. But I wouldn't want me to get the wrong idea. Well, wouldn't want me to think this is going to lead anywhere. I'm not stupid, Dan. I mean, I'm <laughs> quite drunk, but I'm not stupid. No, the reason we're here is so that you can get back at Nigel. Which isn't stopping me from having a lovely time. Well, now we've got that out of the way. Shall we finish the bottle? Do you love him? You know I said you could do better. You could, you know. Much. Like the sailor said, quote, ain't that a hole in a bowl? I don't do drugs. Actually, why don't I do drugs? Hello there, Captain. <coughs> so, uh, what you doing here? Minding my own business. Right then. She's telling me we'll be wet. She's picked out a king-sized bed. I couldn't feel any better, or I'd be sick. Tell me quick. <laughs> uh, right. Well, I'm, I'm going to hit the sack. Okay. Thank you, Janice. No, thank you. That was the best night out I've had in years. Night, Nigel. Our flying time to London this morning will be one hour, 50 minutes, with the weather set fair all the way. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Can't we just try to get on? I mean, I let you fly home. <laughs> you let me? Okay, bad choice of words. I sat in the left-hand seat yesterday, and you sat in there today. Yeah. Well, a word's the wise Dan, old man. We're not going to share everything. Pardon? Janice. Keep your hands off. Do I make myself clear? It was a friendly drink. No hard feelings? None whatsoever, old man. Nobody takes my captain's seat. Nobody takes my woman. And nobody takes my parking space. I've called out the room. I'm Susie Flintoff. Ha, 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 ha.
don't think I don't know what you're up to. Marco can be very romantic when he wants to be. Just a night. Um, will there be anything else, Captain? I think passengers are boarding shortly. Mike! Who's that? Her husband. We're going duck hunting. Duck hunting. I am not killing any ducks. Is Rachel having an affair with a certain expensively trained pilot? I don't know what you... Tomorrow night at 10, all new series Street Wars profiles the elite officers who tackle criminals head on. Next this evening, though, nobody deals drugs on the pub landlord's watch in time, gentlemen, please.